Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1298. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, we have a brand new segment. It's called Mike's Matthewsment Park. Plus, we'll hear from Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, John Deere, the engineer, and oh, my dog is sick again. Mike's Daily Podcast. I know. Wasn't he just sick recently? Yeah. Well, he's just not eating. Mike's Daily Podcast. Eating his regular dog food. He's decided to go with the stuff I cook and eat and then he wants to be a human eating Mike's delicious dinner yes I make a delicious dinner and if I make it for you you'll get thinner because you won't eat it and then you'll be like uh, but my dog eats my chicken Mike's daily podcast that I made some chicken breast so he's eating that and staying away from the Costco food Mike's that he usually enjoys oh so much. Podcast. But because he threw up some of it, yeah, I guess he's not into it now. We'll see how it goes. And now when I see Haley later today, I'll be telling him the same story. And he'll go, hey, I listened to your podcast. I already know. You talked about it. You don't have to tell me in person now, Mike. That's how podcasts work. And when you know people that listen to it. By the way, Haley said something to me the other day. He said that I, Mike Matthews, am a god amongst men. And he was referring to the fact that I have been on YouTube for way over 10 years. There was someone I knew at work that would take anime and add music that she liked to anime and take all the sound out of the anime and put the music to it, you know, and... She, she was cute. What the hell was her name? Melissa or something. Oh. What happened to her? I don't know. But she got me into YouTube back then. And then you couldn't watch it unless you were a subscriber to YouTube. And I don't think Google owned them yet. So I opened up an account. I think it might be YouTube.com slash Matt Michaels. Because that's what the radio name I was going by. And back in that day... Since I'd been Matt Michaels on the radio for 11 years, I thought, that's my name. I will be this stage name for the rest of Ad Infinitum. Tonightum. And look who just walked in. Hi, Matt. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How you doing? It's a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what. What? We are so close to repealing the Obamacare. And the damn Republicans that love the Trump, they want to put something else in its place that's the same as Obamacare. You're very mad, disgruntled fiddle player. Yeah, I'm very upset. Mike, he's been talking about this all weekend. He won't shut up. Oh. And someone walked in with you guys as well. Hello, my guys. It's Jolly and Shoe Hearts Kitchen Supervisor. I was hanging out with uh, Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and all the other characters that have the in their name. They have an article. A fine article. Actually, that was the last show we had this segment, a fine article. Look who's on the Look at all the Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man! And this is John Deere, the engineer. Yes, Mike, we also got a ride with Benita and the disgruntled fiddle player. It was a lot of fun. It was like the total party bus. Come here to cafe anyway. Unfortunately, we had to listen to the disgruntled fiddle player talk on and on. Um, Ad infinitum about uh, Trump care. Yeah, Mike, you want to shut up? Listen, y'all. It's going to tear this country apart. That and Thad. Who's Thad? Like I think it's Thad, T H A A D. It stands for the Terminal High Altitude and Stuff Defense System. Um, Shelly, I don't think that's exactly what the name is. I'm John Deere, the engineer. Mm-hmm. Well, all these characters here today, it might be a little bit confusing for the listener, especially the new listener. If we have a new listener listening today, thank you for listening. We're at cafe anyway. Yes, that. So I didn't realize this. 
that the two main states, the United States of America, but the two of them that the U.S. defense system is the most worried about North Korea sending a missile to, and North Korea has been launching a bunch of, bunch of missiles lately. Luckily not hitting anybody with them, but saying, hey, look at us, look at our, we're flexing our muscle, military muscle. And they, th- apparently the two states in America that are being the most defended for this are Alaska and California. And you can bet right here in the Bay Area, so close to the precious, precious Silicon Valley where we make the things that the rest of the world wants. Although maybe they wouldn't want to bomb us because they're like, oh, well, who's going to make all the cool stuff we like to use over here? You know that Kim John whatever is total fan of our technology. I don't know. Cafe, I don't know. Cafe anyway. But at any rate, that's what we were thinking about, wasn't it, everyone? Yeah, Mark, that's it. Anyway. Cafe anyway. Anyway. Who is that guy anyway? That actually is Shelly Shuhart's new boyfriend, Bob. Yeah, that's my boyfriend, Bob. Anyway. Hi, Bob. And here's today's podcast picture. At Cafe Anyway. Anyway. Oh, by the way, that voice, uh, Ariel, she recently posted on her Instagram a picture of her and her husband at the Parthenon in Nashville. The Parthenon, it, uh, it looks just like the one in Greece. And it was built way back, like in the 20s, as part of a World Fair type thing. And you can go in there, and there's a little exhibit about the World Fair and exposition or expo, whatever the heck. You know, we used to have we used to have those all the time. They were like these beautiful turn of the century festivals and conventions, and the Edison would put his new light bulb in there, and people would be walking around under this beautiful new light bulb light all about and listening to music you know hello my baby hello my honey hello my and then the guy that would later become captain america was walking around with his good friend that would later become the winter soldier and they were dating the girl from doctor who oh yeah go see the movie again you'll know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the first captain america i, I like the captain america movies chris evans does a good job Lots of action, but my point being, part the Parthenon is in Nashville, and it, it's beautiful in this beautiful park. All this grass, walk around, lay down the grass, look at the sun, sweat like a pig because it's humid in Nashville. And then you go inside the Parthenon; it's all air conditioned and wonderful. And somewhere, I think on the third floor, there's this massive golden statue of Athena the goddess Athena in Bible Belt Tennessee they got a massive pagan statue a Greek statue a Greek Greek a sta- a statue hey that would be the statue for Athena and you can see that at the Parthenon but I don't have a picture of that today I have a picture of something much more important and that is the bay in the bay area we have this wonderful thing called the bay you may have heard of and the picture actually is of of a beautiful day i think this was last year and the cloud was a little bit cloudy this is at heron bay in hayward san leandro that particular area looking to wait a minute this is a san leandro marina whatever i think i had this miss or is it they kind of look similar well whatever But Mike, all your pictures of the bay look the same. Thanks, listener. You're the best. And one other thing I wanted to bring up was tenant dumps. Tenant dumps. You see a lot of this in the Bay Area. That is when a landlord gets really mad at their tenant and evicts them. I think they've given them an eviction notice and then all of a sudden one day, oh, they didn't pay up. So now since they haven't moved out voluntarily, we throw everything out. And they take everything out of the out of, out of the house, out of the rental, and put it on the sidewalk. Or actually, they put it on the curb 
in between the street and the sidewalk, and you've got like mattresses, bed box springs, uh, sometimes refrigerators, clothes, just crap, all the kids' stuff. Because if they have a bunch of kids, all that crappy, brightly colored plastic toys and whatnot are all outside. The big plastic stuff that you see a lot of the parents leave in the front yards sometimes in your white trashier areas. And that's all there. Ah, oh, I love just passing by. I see that all the time in the Bay Area. So, and then the, 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 the former tenants don't care because maybe they're in a bad, mad well, they're in a bad way, in a mad rush, trying to find another place to live. So they they don't care, and they just leave it there. I don't have a picture of that, thank God, on the podcast picture. But I do have a new segment. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Uh, help out the show at mikesdailypodcast.com. Oh, and by the way, happy Holly. It's a holy, holy, holy. How do I say it? Okay. I, you know, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The pronunciation scheme, the uh, way of saying words that Wikipedia tries to teach you phonetically how to say certain words, not the best. It doesn't, it's, it ex- expects you to know what certain, I don't know, their system. Maybe that's the universal system of phonetics. I don't know. But it is a Hindu holy, holy, that's what it is, is a Hindu spring festival celebrated in India and Nepal, also known as the Festival of Colors or the Festival of Love. In fact, at the fairgrounds in Alameda on Saturday, they had a run, a holy run, and everybody was dressed in bright colors. So that's what's going on. Um, it signifies the victory of good over evil, the arrival of spring and of winter, and for many, a festive day to meet others. To meet others. Ooh. Maybe meet a nice lady. Play and laugh, forget and forgive, and repair broken relationships. It is also celebrated as a Thanksgiving for a good harvest. That's awesome! And we got a full moon coming up here, and that's... It lasts for two days, starting on the Purnima full moon day. And that is there. So, you know, we are here in Fremont, actually, technically. And we have a huge uh, population from India. So I'm sure there'll be some celebrations today here. But the podcast website is mikesdailypodcast.com it's kind of colorful and if you're gonna buy anything on amazon click on that amazon link at mikesdailypodcast.com and that helps us out tremendously it says shop connect and enjoy click on that and buy whatever it is you're gonna buy and that helps us out there's also a link to the paypal you can help out that way and become a specialized Oh, you'll get a specialized, personalized MP3 for thee from all the Cafe Anyway characters. And there's the past podcast pictures and past interviews, too. And now, a brand new segment that is called... Whoa! Mike's Matthewsman Park. 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 The front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. Let's take a ride together in the world of news. First off, two critically ill in San Francisco after consuming tea bot from Sun Wing Wo Trading Company. The San Francisco Department of Health announced this on Saturday on its official Twitter account. The department also warned that those who have already bought tea leaves from Chinatown Herbalists should refrain from consuming it. It contains aconite, a plant-based toxin. The presence of toxin was confirmed with the help of of lab tests on the patients as well as on the tea samples provided by them. The two people uh, became ill in separate incidents in February and March. Their symptoms appeared within an hour of consumption. The toxin caused life-threatening abnormal heart rhythms and the patients required resuscitation as well as intensive holiday uh, ho- hospital care. The link to the herbalist on Great Avenue in Chinatown came to light after both cases were referred to the San Francisco General Hospital's California Poison Control System. The World Wide Web 
Tim, uh, the the in, the inventor of it, Tim Berners Lee, wants to save it. The computer scientist who wrote the blueprint for what would become the World Wide Web 20 years ago today is alarmed at what has happened to it over the past year. It has become increasingly worried. Oh, I've become increasingly worried about three new trends, which I believe we must tackle in order for the web to fulfill its true potential as a tool which serves all of humanity, he said. He cited compromised personal data, fake news that he says has spread like wildfire, and the lack of regulation in political advertising, which he says threatens democracy. He is 61. He was knighted. And he founded the Web Foundation in 2009 to improve the web as part of a five-year plan. And finally, Kellyanne Conway. Oh, she's lovely. The White House is offering yet another wrinkle in its attempt to support President Trump's allegation, unfounded so far, that his campaign headquarters in Manhattan were wiretapped by the Obama administration. And Kelly, as that's Trump's senior counselor, Kellyanne Conway, she says the surveillance may be broader than even Trump suggested. In a wide-ranging interview Sunday at her home in Alpine, oh, what, we're going to her home now, where she lives with her husband, a possible nominee for U.S. Solicitor General, and their four children. Boy, she's been busy. She managed Trump's presidential campaign before taking the job as one of the president's closest advisors, suggested that the alleged monitoring of activities at Trump's campaign headquarters at Trump Tower in Manhattan may involve far more than wiretapping. What I can say is there are many ways to surveil each other, she said, uh, as the Trump presidency has been in office now for 50 days. You can surveil someone through their phones, certainly through their television sets, any number of ways. That's why you need to put on this tinfoil hat, she said. No, she didn't say that. She went on to say that the monitoring could be done with microwaves that turn into cameras, adding, we know that this is a fact of modern life. Well, good old Kellyanne Conway, as we go outside a cafe anyway... We'll be bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Oh, there's Kelly and Conway now. Well, sure. Okay. Obfuscate. Obfuscate away, Kellyanne. What, you mean Trump has no real proof? Well, you know, we're all being listened to. Scare, scare tactics. Did I scare you to stop thinking about this thing? Scaring you. Kelly and Conway. Next show, it's going to be Benita the Disgruntled Fiddle Player and the Brewmaster. I got to go. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at Mike's Daily Podcast.com. Email Mike now at Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.